Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm sharing how I got Bloodborne running on my Steam Deck. Yes, you heard it right. The greatest game of all time can be played on the Steam Deck. There's a few things we need to do first, so let's dive in. Before we dive in, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more Steam Deck guides, gameplay and performance tests. One more thing, here's a mandatory disclaimer. I cannot provide links to any copyrighted files like system modules or game dumps. These must be dumped from your own PS4 system. This video is purely for educational purposes. Cool with that? Let's jump in. First things first, we need to get over into desktop mode and we need to install Shad PS4. Now there are a few ways to do this, trust me, I've tried them all. The one that worked for me was to download this build from the GitHub and extracting it into my downloads folder. This is the version I used and I'll leave a link in the comments. Once we've got it installed, we need to open up Shad PS4. You'll be presented with a screen will ask you where you want your games to be installed. Mine hasn't done this because I've already got it installed on my system. When I first tried this I selected my SD card. I'm not sure why but I ran into a few problems with the game not loading and it just kept crashing out of the program. The way I got this to work was to select my desktop so let's go ahead and do that. So when we're in Shad PS4, before we do anything else, we need to transfer over our system module files which we required legally from our dump PS4. So you need to locate the folder which is on the screen now. When you transfer them over, you just copy and paste them into this folder. Mine's already populated because I've already done this. Now we need to install the game. As you can see, I've already got Bloodborne installed. To install this, we need to select the install package from the Shad PS4 menu locate the file and just let it run. It won't show anything on the screen, it will take its time, but it will it, just leave it, just patience. Patience is key on this one. Once that's done, we need to install the 1.09 update file. This is done in exactly the same way as the game. Now we are nearly there. Next thing to do is to select the patches we need. To do this, right click on the game and select cheats slash patches. Just be sensible here. Remember, at the end of the day, it's a Steam Deck. Feel free to copy the ones that I have got selected on the screen now. We're nearly there, that's the majority of it done. Are you getting excited? Next thing we need to do is we need to add it to Steam. So there's a few ways to do this. The only one I got to work was to open up Steam and add a non-Steam game. So we need to do that, we need to locate the Shad PS4 app image. Once we have that added, we need to amend some of the properties. So right click on the properties. We need to add in a flag, that's a hyphen G. Then we need to locate the .bin file, the eboot.bin file of our game. Once that's there, we'll copy that in, just remember speech marks, and then we're good to go. Now we're back in the game mode, we can see our new game has been added. Let's make this look a bit neater by changing the name and adding some sexy images to it. When that's done, we're good to go. Fire it up and enjoy. So that's how I got Bloodborne running on the Steam Deck. Remember, this is early days, but we are getting there. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and subscribe. We're on the path to monetization, so any help is hugely appreciated. Let me know in the comments if this worked for you and if you are now enjoying PS4 games on your Steam Deck. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.